Hi everyone, um, I'm Bailey's mom, Kaylin, and this is Bailey's dad, Anthony. Nice to meet you. So we are going to start with answering all your questions from the video that Anthony posted on Christmas. So Bailey Q&A. She's so excited to answer all her questions. We had a lot of questions, which we're very thankful for. Uh, we're probably going to split this video into two parts because there's so many questions. I don't want it to be too long. So part two uh, will show up probably about a week from now. Um, and the link for that video will be in the description below. Okay, so our first question, um, we had two similar ones. So from Turtle Power Man and It's BF Knight is the question is, is Bailey sweet and nice off camera or aggressive wild dog? Why ask? Well, I have aggressive German Shepherd puppy. And also BF Knight asked, is, is she aggressive? So Bailey is a very normal, happy, go lucky puppy. Always happy to see you. Always willing to play and love and cuddle and everything. However, if she has a bone in her mouth or a treat, she will growl at you. She'll, sna she'll snap at you, but she won't bite you. Um, she's not aggressive, but she's no. very protective over any food that's around her, just like any dog, I guess. Yeah. But she won't bite you. She's not going to, to harm you. She's not aggressive, but she is protective whenever she has treats or her bone or anything near her. Yeah, you can really get like in her face and she'll growl at you and you can easily take it away from her, but she does get very protective and then she'll run underneath the bed with her toy. Around other bone. dogs, she's not aggressive. Uh, she's quite happy to see and meet other puppies. Uh, she seems to be afraid of dogs that are bigger than her. Uh, she's a little timid around them, a little cautious to get closer to them, but dogs similar to her size or smaller. She's very friendly and just wants to say hello and play with them. So she's not aggressive towards other dogs either. Okay, uh, next question is... This one is from Rohan. Uh, question of Bailey's parents. Don't you get complaints from neighbors about Bailey's constant barks? If yes, how do you deal with them? Um, it's that and also to Shadow asked the exact same thing. Do we ever get complaints from neighbors regarding her barking? Um, no, no, we know our neighbors quite well. They know we have a beagle. Um, we live in a townhouse complex. Uh, so we have a person right beside us attached but they say they can't really hear her um, inside the home, inside their home. Uh, if she's out on the front deck or in the backyard barking, yeah, the whole neighborhood will hear her. Everyone knows that she's the beagle in the Yeah, they know that there's a beagle in the neighborhood, uh, but we don't, um, we don't let her bark too loud or too long outside. Um, you know, in the summertime, we're from the backyard, she'll bark at a bird or a passing car or something, but that's about it. But if we le let her outside by herself and she starts howling and screaming and making lots of noise, uh, we will bring her in. So we're very conscious of the fact that we have neighbors, uh, we can hear their dogs, which we don't like sometimes. So we're very cognizant of the fact that she's a very loud dog. And uh, when she does start making some noise, we will bring her inside. But um, we don't leave her outside long because she will start to bark at anything and everything. And that will annoy birds. the neighbors. And birds and people. Squirrels and cars. Yep. So, uh, yeah, no, no, no complaints from the neighbors, but they can hear her. So we just bring her inside if she gets too loud. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Oh, here's a good one. Um... Uh, this is from Kathy Stewart. Um, how have you trained Bailey to stay in her yard? My beagles have always been escape artists with a strong instinct to hunt. Bailey's the exact same way. Uh, she loves to hunt. And uh, early on when we got her as a pup, um, we used to have a Cocker Spaniel. Uh, Dexter and we could leave him in the backyard and he kind of knew the perimeter never took off so we thought we could train Bailey to do the same thing but we learned early on no she ran no. into traffic two or three times 
So I bought uh, like a long leash for her uh, when she was a pup, but then she would run uh, and then the leash would catch around her neck or around her harness. Or, or wrapped could, around the rose bushes. Or she'd get tangled up or anything. So uh, what we found was one of those dog, coll uh, dog collars. And uh, there's a little base unit that sits inside your home that has like a, an electric perimeter uh, around this little base. And the collar, if she reaches that perimeter, will start to beep. And Bailey has learned that when it starts to beep, I need to turn around. If she keeps going, it will give her a little shock on her neck. It won't hurt her. It doesn't hurt her. It's like licking a battery. Uh, it's just uncomfortable. Uh, so I think she did that once. She heard the beep. She kept walking and she got to this little, little zap. Uh, it didn't hurt her, but she just didn't like it. Uh, so now, uh, over the last three years, she wears the collar when she goes outside for the most part. Uh, if she's outside by herself and uh, she's kind of learned where the perimeter is, where the beeping starts and then she'll turn around. Uh, in the summertime, we can leave the collar off because she's kind of learned where that perimeter is and uh, she doesn't seem to uh, go outside that. She will push her limit every yeah. night that we go outside. She will try to go farther and farther and we have to kind of pull her back and if she gets too far, if she takes off or starts running into traffic or other people's yards, then we just put the collar around her and then she knows to stay put. She puts her tail between her legs and goes like down and she yeah. won't look at us because she knows she's mad. She doesn't like it, but uh, it was the only way that we could keep her in her yard. Because um, we don't have a fenced uh, yard either, so... No, and I said as a pup, she was running into traffic, she was running into other people's mm -hmm. homes, we were losing her. So that, uh, that collar, I think it zapped her once, like I said, it didn't hurt. Uh, but she kind of now knows where that perimeter is and um, Anytime she tries to push those perimeters to push those limits We'll put the collar back on her and then she knows to stay close. So it's kept her safe uh, It's the only alternative Well, because we when she find. starts sniffing something and she's hunting. She gone. She she doesn't listen uh, We had it one time in the backyard where all of a sudden we couldn't find her and you see and the bushes beside the house you see her white tip little tail and you heard a squeaking voice and she she caught like a little vole or a little mouse or something that she went hunting after so you have to be careful with her but yeah if you are going to get a beagle or if you do have one look at getting that little collar um you know it's, it's worked great for us uh or if you can you can need a fenced yard uh unfortunately with us in our townhouse complex we can't build a fence around our yard so we had to go with the collar and it's worked great. It's kept her safe and close by. Okay, so our next question is Nancy Hussey Carter. Um, have you thought about agility or another dog sport for her? My favorite is fly ball. Those are athletes and Merry Christmas too. So, um, especially in the wintertime, it's very hard to keep Bailey active because in the summertime, we're always at a dog park or running or walking or playing in the backyard. So in the house, uh, we try and throw a ball a lot, but we also like to um, laser. So we're covering her ears because she likes it so much. So like, like a laser, like a laser pointer, like a green or red light, we like to put it um, across the floor or up and down the stairs and she has to like touch it up against she has to touch it on the wall and then we move it and then she has to chase it and chase it and chase it so we try not to do it so much because she's vocal for the whole entire thing and she can get really really loud so she loves it so much that she thinks that the little green light that's in your fridge where the water dispenser is, she thinks it comes from there. Or your smoke detector, the light, she thinks it comes from there. So when she really wants it, she'll sit down, she'll look at the at the smoke detector, she'll look at you and she'll look at it and look at you and be like, Kate, I want, I want the light, I want the light. So we have to, if she is very, very anxious and very restless, then we'll play with it for a little bit, but she just gets super, super vocal. Yeah. What was the question? So about agility? Agility, or another s dog sport. Yeah, where they run through... Yeah, that would be kind of fun for her. We don't have anything in our town. That's... I don't know, we've never searched. No, uh, I don't know how well she would do. It would be great, because it would be good exercise for her. But <laughs> just even going for a walk, she can't... Her nose just distracts her so much that 
Uh, yeah. Trying to go through an obstacle course. Uh, she meant squirrel. Yeah, she would just take off or just poop. Whenever you get excited and running, just poop wherever you're at. So uh, we do. I, I would like to, to find something. I don't know where the closest. I don't know. Um, Anthony plays hide and go seek with her a lot. Um, that's really good for her nose. Is that he'll throw something, she'll chase it, and then when she brings it back, he's gone. He'll hide in the bed or in a closet or in the bathtub or he'll hide all around the house so that she has to use her nose to go and try and find she him. She follows my footsteps. So if yeah. I throw it downstairs and she's in the kitchen downstairs looking for whatever toy or ball I've thrown, when I run into wherever the bathtub or the bed to hide, she'll actually follow my last footprints with her nose and smell where I've gone to. So you cannot hide from a beagle. They will smell you. They will smell your footprints. Um, so that's a fun yeah. little game that you can play with a beagle because they do like using their nose and smelling lots is that we hide her toys a lot so that she has to try and find them too. So she likes those. Uh, number six is... This one you can answer because she does not listen to me worth. Um, this is from Lisa Lamb. Hi, question. What kind of training do you do? She's so well behaved. The best way to get a beagle to behave is edit out the bad parts on the camera. So all you see is the well behaved portions on the, on the videos. Um, She's very, very stubborn. Yeah, it's very stubborn. Uh, we're camping right now in the trailer. I don't know if you can tell, but um, underneath the slide out uh, to the trailer here, Bailey picked up a scent last night and for about 30 minutes just went back and forth on the floor sniffing for whatever was down there and there was nothing you could do to distract her. You couldn't give her treats, you couldn't, nothing. She well, was trying to find out whatever is underneath there, which we looked and we didn't see anything. We'd never, I don't think we would ever have mice in the trailer. Well, maybe. She'd, I, she'd sniff them and find them and... Yeah, if we do, she, but, um, no, but what it's... Kind of, what kind of, like, training do you do with her? Because she listens to you work really, really well. Well, when we first got Bailey, I worked from home. And when we first got Bailey, I was at home with her for the first probably three months. Uh, before I left on the road for work. So her and I just spending so much time together as a pup grew this bond where she will listen to me and only me. Uh, both Caitlin and I could be in front of her and Caitlin could be asking her, come here, please, come here, please, come here, please. And all I have to do is get on my, on my knees and she'll just automatically come to me. So we've got that bond. Hence why uh, she's laying on him, not on me. No, she just that's where she's comfy. No, oh, yeah. But um, I don't know. It, it, for for Bailey, she just she she listens to me and only me. Uh, I don't know when I'm gone on the road and you're home by yourself with her. How is she? No, she won't listen. No, she uh, tries to be the alpha female in the house, and she's like, mm -mm, I don't have to listen to you. But you do like uh, you give her treats, but then you're also very like. You're very firm with her when you when you ask her something or if you give her crap. Like she just she knows that you're more dominant. Yeah, I don't than yell her. at her, but no. if she's doing something we don't want her to do, or she's going somewhere, or, or yeah. uh, if she catches a scent and starts taking off in the backyard, uh, I'll just not will raise my voice, but I'll just get stern with her and tell her to come back right away for her own safety. Uh, so I don't know. I uh, if you want Bailey's attention or if you want a Beagle's attention. Just get some food, get yeah. a treat, get anything, and yeah. you've got their attention uh, for as long as you hold that food. Um, so if they are outside misbehaving or they're running away and you can't get them, just uh, tell them you got a treat or get some food. As soon as they see it or smell it, they will turn around and come to you. Uh, their desire for food is stronger than their 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 scent, their smell. Yeah, if we're in, if I'm in the backyard and. I'm like, Bailey, come here, come here, come here. Hi. Hi, I'm Hi. not talking to you. Go back to bed. And she's just sniffing the side of the house. I have to go, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, you're going to, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just for the video. It's um, just for the video. You have to say the H word and the F. Do you want food? And do you want this? I have to bribe her with stuff in order for her yeah. to, to listen. Other than that, no. I'm surprised you're not a big heifer. Hmm? No, we've got her on a on a good diet. I'm not starving her, but she's got the proper amount of food, maintaining and watching her weight. Uh, 
what else about behavior? Yeah, see, the videos you guys see is just of her, um, you know, behaving well or Maybe us you having should do fun a together. video of, of mis misbehaving Bailey. Yeah, I can show you all the times where she won't listen or she is misbehaving. But don't kid yourself, she does misbehave. We just don't catch it on camera all the time or post it to her channel. Uh, but uh, no, I just think if you reward good behavior with treats and praise and just talk sternly to them, you know, if they're if they're doing something they shouldn't be doing or biting something they shouldn't be doing, just, you know, tell them no and, um, yeah, and reward good behavior. Yep. Um, I mean, potty training took more than two years, two and a half years. She just turned three. Yeah, like, it, no, she would have accidents in the house just even just a few months ago. Yeah, because she'd get mad at you. Or she gets mad or excited or whatever, but yeah. uh, potty training took a while. Uh, even now, like when it's cold outside, uh, as most of you know, she doesn't like going outside when it's cold or raining or the grass is wet or the grass is green or... The wind's blowing. The wind's blowing. <laughs> like she's such a princess that way. So she'll actually go into our basement to go to the bathroom because she doesn't want to go outside. It's too cold. You try to let her out there and she just turns around, comes right back to the door. And she'd rather do her business down in the basement where it's nice and warm. And then we get surprises every day, don't we? Mm -hmm. right. So, uh, yeah, she does misbehave. And even though we praise her and give her treats when she goes outside and does a good job, you know, if it's cold outside, she will go in the basement and find a little corner on the concrete where it's warm, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay, that's half of the questions. Uh, the video is already gone longer than I wanted to anyway, so uh, we will end it here and do part two in a week. Uh, so check back in a week, uh, or if you're watching this uh, down the road, just uh, check the link in the description below, and I think we should put a pop-up up here. I think it's in the top, well, it's the top right-hand corner of your screen, so because it's flipped, should be up here. Uh, and also at the end of the video too, we will have, um, uh, a little thumbnail that you can click on and one more favor if I may ask um, we have our own YouTube channel as well uh, the YouTube channel is called 1021 productions and we do vlogs every now and again um, just of our family life our trips we go on vacations yeah. uh, and sometimes Bailey pops up in those videos too so um, yeah, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, Bailey's got way more fans than we do, which I'm kind of jealous about. But, uh, but we're also fun. To, yeah, we're very fun. I got some you neat can, videos you can watch with our my fun GoPros, videos. and I do some neat editing and, and music stuff. So uh, if you could check out our, our vlog channel too, and uh, just check out a couple of videos if you like it. Subscribe if you feel like it. If not, don't worry. But uh, we'd really appreciate if you check our channel out too. That'll be in the description below as well, and at the end of this video too. So. Thanks again for all the questions, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this. And um, Billy, yeah. can you say bye? Billy, can you say bye? No. No. <laughs>